Chapter 7 Social Law Necessity of Social Life Question 766 Is social life founded in nature? And the answer, certainly, God has made man for living in society. It is not without a purpose that God has given to man the faculty of speech and the other faculties necessary to the life of relation. Question 767. Is absolute isolation contrary to the law of nature? And the answer, yes, since man instinctively seeks society, and since all men are intended to help forward the work of progress by aiding one another. Question 768. Does man, in seeking society, only yield to a personal feeling, or is there in this feeling a wider providential end? And the answer, man must progress. He cannot do so alone, because, as he does not possess all the faculties, he needs the contact of other men. In isolation, he becomes brutified and isolated. Kardec adds, No man possesses the complete range of faculties. Through social union, men complete one another and thus mutually secure their well-being and progress. It is because they need each other's help that they have been formed for living in society and not in isolation. Life of Isolation Question 769 We can understand that the taste for social life as a general principle should be founded in nature, as are all other tastes. But why should a taste for absolute isolation be regarded as blamable if a man finds satisfaction in it? And the answer, such satisfaction can only be a selfish one. There are also men who find satisfaction in getting drunk. Do you approve of them? A mode of life, by the adoption of which you condemn yourselves, not to be useful to anyone, cannot be pleasing to God. Question 770. What is to be thought of those who live in absolute seclusion in order to escape the temptations of the world? And the answer, the life of such persons is doubly selfish. In avoiding one evil, they fall into another, since they forget the law of love and charity. Follow-up question, but if such a seclusion is undergone as an expiation through the imposing of oneself of a painful privation, is it not meritorious? And the answer, the best of all expiations is to do a greater amount of good than you have done of evil. Question 771. What is to be thought of those who renounce the world in order to devote themselves to the relief of the unfortunate? And the answer, they raise themselves by their voluntary abasement. They have the double merit of placing themselves above material enjoyments, and of doing good by fulfilling the law of labor. Follow-up question, and those who seek in retirement the tranquility required for certain kinds of labor? And the answer, those who live in retirement from such a motive are not selfish. They do not separate themselves from society, since their labors are for the general good. Question 772. What is to be thought of the vow of silence prescribed by certain sects from the very earliest times? And the answer, you should rather ask yourselves whether speech is in nature and why God has given it. God condemns the abuse, but not the use of the faculties he has given. Silence, however, is useful, for in silence you have fuller possession of yourself. Your spirit is freer and can then enter into more intimate communication with us. But a vow of silence is an absurdity. Those who regard the undergoing of such voluntary privations as acts of virtue, are prompted undoubtedly by a good intention in submitting to them. But they make a mistake in so doing because they do not sufficiently understand the true laws of God. Kardec adds, The vow of silence, like the vow of isolation, deprives man of the social relations, which alone can furnish him with the opportunities of doing good and fulfilling the law of progress. Family Ties Question 773. Why is it that, among the animals, parents and children forget each other, 
when the latter no longer need the care of the former? And the answer, the life of the animals is material life, but not moral life. The tenderness of the dam for her young is prompted by the instinct of preservation in the regards of beings born of her. When these beings are able to take care of themselves, her task is done. Nature asks no more of her, and she therefore abandons them in order to busy herself with those that come afterwards. Question 774. Some persons have inferred from the abandonment of the young of animals by their parents that the ties of family among mankind are merely a result of social customs and not a law of nature. What is to be thought of this inference? And the answer, man has another destiny than that of the animals. Why then should you always be trying to assimilate him to them? There is in man something more than physical wants. There is the necessity of progressing. Social ties are necessary to progress, and social ties are drawn closer by family ties. For this reason, family ties are a law of nature. God has willed that men should learn through them to love one another as brothers. Question 775. What would be the effect upon society of the relaxation of family ties? And the answer, a relapse into selfishness. For those interested in learning more about Spiritism, you can find the entire The Spirits book on PDF. Look up Allan Kardec space PDF on your favorite search engine. If you wish to explore more about the levels of heaven and the attributes of a spirit and the future of earth, I suggest you read my series of three books starting with Heaven and Below, next, Spirits and the Spirit Universe, and the third book, How Spirits Guide Us. God bless.